An Ordinary, Season 2, Episode 174. He's gone. Sure's crying. Oh, John's clenching her wrist. John, let go of my arm. No, you're not going anywhere. Tom, I'm done talking. Huh? Ooh, comes a slap. I said let go. Smack. Huh? Like, uh, stunned. Look at her. Did you just hit me? Stand there. Think she wanted to? She's turning. Walk away. Oh, he's in rage. Hey! Uh oh. She's her. Uh oh. Where the heck do you think you're going? Grab their arm. Uh oh. Huh? Oh, push away. Don't touch me. Back against the wall. Claire! Don't you dare walk away from me. Claire. I've kicked your butt once. And I'm not afraid to do it again. Oh, door swings open. Arlo to rescue. Huh? T -t -t -t. Enough, John. They about to have a brawl? Huh. Uh, Arlo? What the heck are you doing here? It's Claire. I've heard her talking to Jack. Hmm? You two planned this all along? You two teamed up against me? Clench your fist. Who said you could be here? Punch him. Bam. Get that out. Huh? Oh, grabs him. Hit me all you want. Take a good look at who else you're threatening. Serafina points at her. The one you've been trying to protect all this time. Remember all the times you harassed me because she was injured? Remember all the students you hospitalized for touching her? Now you're just gonna turn on her like this? What the heck are you doing? Wake up! John shoves him. Get off! She turned on me first. Y'all turned on me first. F all you. I should have known. You do this to me, Arlo. You already messed everything else up for me. It was only a matter of time till you approached and manipulated her too. Hmm? What the heck is wrong with you? What do you have against me? You just never learn. Shut up. Get that guy out of my sight. I don't want to see either of you ever again. You're both dead to me. Hmm. <sighs> okay, she's leaving. Arlo's falling. Shut the door. He's just standing there. Shaking. Oh! Drops his knees. His hands. Oh, he's crying. Why? Why does it always end up like this? Hey, hallway. Sarah, Arlo, Arlo has a hand in the pocket. Okay. After I lost my ability, I hung on because of him. I believed in my own strength thanks to him. Sarah, you're just a cripple. How could you possibly help me? You can't even defend yourself. So that's how you feel about me. We're just saying this out of anger. You really had me fooled, John. Hmm. He needs help. He's so lost in his own head. Nobody can get through to him. Not even you. Or they'll cross his arms. Oh, and who am I? His friend. Wrong. I'm just a cripple. Huh? And you're just his errand boy. The rails in this whole school. All garbage. That's truly how he sees us. The one makes us worth listening to. Hmm. I've been wrapped up in his, this lie for over a year. He played me well, and I've wasted a lot of time because of it. Now, 
that it's over. I just want to move on. Hmm. He was right about one thing. Why don't you focus on yourself instead of acting like a freaking know-it-all? I have more important things to focus on. Like what? I'm going to go talk to a guy named Terrence and get myself some answers. Huh? Terrence? Hmm. I want the name of your anonymous writer. Is he a second year? A mid tier who can turn invisible? You know him? What any coincidence? I've been curious about him too. That's where the episode ends. Huh. Wow. Good thing Harlow showed up. Um. I really thought they were going to brawl. Man. He's so consumed with, like, his past that he can't get past it. Can't go to the future. He's just like being weighed down. He thinks she's just like, um, was it still? Or Claire. Cecil's the one who gave Arlo the name. Claire. Yeah. Like, he can't get over that first betrayal. It's like, it's so traumatic to him. So what can get him past this? Like, did that whole year mean nothing? About their friendship? I mean, up until this point, he's always had Sarah. But now he's like floating drift. What's he gonna do next? Maybe his dad can talk to him? Will that be enough? And. Yeah, the other side of the coin is. Sarah and Arlo are gonna go. See Terrence. Hmm. Is he connected? Timbers. Does he know what happened to Sarah? Who did this? Maybe he's watching, and they didn't know because he was invisible. I feel like Terrence knows more than he's letting on. Like, why was he following them? Did the person who's like all behind this tell him to do it? Or, I don't know. He's like, Sarah? Is that why he's doing it? Hmm. Like, he didn't want to bring too much attention to himself. So, yeah. What are your thoughts? Um, where is this going? Um, do you think there's a way for, I don't know, John to be saved, in a sense? Will, like, everything go back to normal? As best it can? I feel like John needs to go soul-searching. Get his life straightened out. Just holding all this baggage. Clean up his closet. I don't know. Well, um, yeah, what are your thoughts? Um, where is this going? If you enjoyed the episode, leave a like. If you're new, subscribe and comment. Thank you for watching and have a good rest of the day. Bye.